Uh, it's my pleasure to talk about the piece Reface with uh, Chandra and Liz, who are the member of a collective, uh, which is uh, Lazy Dolls, we, and they are performers and also choreographers of, the, of this piece. And maybe I will start with more general question. Uh, you describe yourself as a collective that pays a tribute to thousands of cinematic, photographic, and musical references. And it's very interesting source of inspiration. So my first question is like, how comes that they are your source of inspiration? Where it came from? Yeah, it's true that our work draws from many, many different references and also many different universes. So um, all of that gives us energy to create. Uh, also, they can give us aesthetic direction sometimes. Mm -hmm. And But it's all these references, we want to work on that because we are thinking that we are constantly surrounded by images, sounds, noises, and all of that are part of us and part of our daily life. So it was important to include of, uh, all of these materials in our creative process. And we have to say also that our references are very varied and all over the place. For example, we are we like uh, Lynch films, but also RuPaul Drag Race shows, for example. So it's very, very different, but it's that. Um, so yeah, it's very broad, broad uh, in terms of discipline, disciplines. Mm -hmm. uh, it could be music, photographies, books, philosophy. Uh, it could be also pop cultures. It could be more intellectual. It could be very current or more outdated. So it's super varied, and but we are always choosing to to work about uh, with that because we love them and <laughs> it's, it's our idols. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's go to uh, let's go to rephrase where I think it's very it's a very specific performance and I like it a lot and. Um, uh, yeah. Is the minimalism you use and focus on detail because it's really based on details typically uh, typical only for this production or is it the direction of your research and you have been working on that for a longer period of time? This minimalism, I mean, and, and detail focus. Um, Refacing is our first piece so it's a bit early to say we have a oh. career artist. Oh, I didn't direction. know. That's great. Yeah. <laughs> it's our first piece, but we meet uh, 10 yeah, years ago. Time. So okay. it's not <laughs> the first time we work together. But uh, yeah, this could change with another creation. But it's true that we love diving deep into a material, an object or a detail. And reverse emerge from our desire to focus on our face and body because they are constantly changing. Mm -hmm. And we wanted to explore this tiny everyday transformation and make them central to the piece. Mm -hmm. And these changes are often due to the passing of time. It can be also related to the context in which we live. And our creative process often involves focusing on one thing, on one movement and developing it. But who knows, in the future, <laughs> yeah. we may go in completely yeah. different direction. Mm -hmm. And in Reface, our aesthetic as was pretty minimalist. But as Liz mentioned, our inspiration are very varied. So our next piece might look quite different okay. we don't know <laughs> okay so uh, let's go to the image you create with the reface uh, because uh, this as you said it transformed very slowly almost invisible for the for the audiences and for the viewer, viewer. so i'm really interested how you how you how was the process how you reached this uh, result uh, was it like because you use a lot of materials 
So how this research was based on, like you had the materials you use and that formed the basis uh, for the, you adapted uh, uh, during the process or it was a concrete idea first and then you look for the way how to realize it because I think maybe it was the both, but, but it, it's really materials you work with plays a really important role of what we see. Yeah, actually, at first it was more an idea that we that we had in mind. Uh, so, as Chandra said, and as you say, as you said, it was working uh, about uh, uh, yes transformation and evolution in faces and bodies. So it was really an idea that we had because also we we read a book about that. So it was really like, oh yes, we want to work about that. Um, and for us, it was also very important to to make a focus to these changes uh, that we have uh, on our bodies because sometimes we don't notice that. Uh, we don't notice that we have a little wrinkle here that we didn't have yesterday. So <laughs> for us, it was important to, yes, to show this little transformation that we don't notice every day yeah but first was the idea and 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 after uh the makeup you, yeah uh, so you ask some makeup specialist to help you to yes somehow realize yes. that idea yeah okay yes exactly because mm -hmm. we um, with Chandra we are huge fan of makeup costumes we love dressing up uh, yes so it was, it was makeup we but we didn't know how to do it so uh -huh. we make a lot of research we um, yes we worked also with a professional makeup artist few days and at the end we say oh so it's really complicated so we want to use uh, <laughs> Very simple tricks, very simple uh, cellophane wigs and and how to say uh, um, and tapes. Yeah, tapes. So tapes, very yeah. very simple basic materials, and and the process was more about how can I use one materials uh, to do another thing. Like I don't know how to say exactly, but. Uh, yeah. If I put, if I, uh, if I have a cellophane uh, covering my head, uh, how can I take it and put it in my mouth to reshape my jaw, or okay. how can I put it in my mouth to make a dental braces? And that was the research. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How one materials can be used for a whole range of transformations. And how long was the process? Because I think it's really complicated to make such yeah. a thing. <laughs> Do yes. you? Two years, yes. One yeah. year of research, uh -huh. one year in, in yes. the body, in the uh -huh. makeup. Yeah. Uh -huh. One year, one year really with the body and the makeup. Yeah, yeah. No, but the re result is very result is very impressive. Okay, and uh, as we said, it's a minimalistic. So, uh, but it's also fascinating on this piece that it's uh, you you almost don't move from one spot. But it also create creates really, really the 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 image that you are moving. There is a permanent motion and and a permanent change. So um, this is really uh, this is really something uh, which interests me. How you create this 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 movement, which is like almost invisible, but it's there, you know. It's moving, but it's not moving. <laughs> yeah. exactly. But in, in reality, we, we do move. But yeah, the I know. of the movement make it difficult to, the, yeah, to notice uh, the changes. And is it something which is fixed or you improvise it, uh, each performance? And you uh, have just principle you work with. It's fixed and a little bit of improvisation, but mm -hmm. uh, the body is almost fixed and the relation between us, it's fixed. Yeah, so, yeah, the principle of Refrain was to create a very slow path of transformation in the body, in the face, in the makeup, and 
we wanted to create a sense of constant motion, like a turbine. We mm -hmm. name it turbine. Mm -hmm. Even though we seem to stay in the one place. And by using very small, almost invisible gesture and repeating them with tiny variation, mm -hmm. we aim to remove the perception of this change. And this creates a kind of hypnotic effect. Yeah. Um, yeah, the audience starts to see transformation they might not have noticed otherwise. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And throughout the performance, we shift from one face, one posture, one identity to another. But as soon as a figure appears, it fades away. Yeah. We want to audience say, oh, I think I saw a little girl or maybe a dog or maybe a princess. <laughs> I need to work with illusion to spark different imagin imagination. Yeah. This imagination, it's not um, right. Uh, it's yeah. not um, the body, the relation. So we, we don't use big movements. But our choreography has several layers. So we have a layer of body posture, a layer of makeup. This is really moving. <laughs> it takes, takes, takes. Uh, a layer of rhythmic expression, yeah. yes, between us uh, in the turbine. Uh -huh. And the layer of imagination and character. But uh -huh. this one is super difficult to to write it, to fix it, because uh, the music, the light, uh, put it in uh, in different uh, spaces, different emotion, and mm -hmm. that's, we we yeah. don't fix it, we do not fix it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. So this is the, the layer of the foundation of free face. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, and so as you mentioned, there is also the music which plays a role in the performance. So tell us something, uh, how the soundtrack was created and what, 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 what is the role for you for the soundtrack? Because it's really complete the image, the atmosphere, which is done, of course, by you and costumes and, and, and set. And yeah, so it's very complex. And uh, yeah, so the music, how yes. was the music created? Yeah, yeah, it was also central, very important for us during the the creative process. So um, Martin Malatré is a composer, and he's also playing live during the performance, and and all the sound during the performance is specialized. So mm -hmm. there is a quadru quadraphonic system, uh, and the audience is fully in the sound during the whole uh, performance because we really want to create an intimate space mm -hmm. with the sound, with the image, with the light. So it was also, uh, yes, this this feeling that we want to create very small space, very intimate, very close. And to be more concrete, Martin has created an electro, an electro acoustic uh, sound uh, mm -hmm. using pre-existing sounds and uh, um, uh, ambience noises mm -hmm. like uh, there is a lot of uh, noises from daily life like mm -hmm. uh, uh, I don't know uh, 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 atmosphere of a train right. station uh, an atmosphere of a winter evening uh, yes I don't know but atmosphere of a, of a place of a, yes yeah. And and so all of that gives a very unique atmosphere also uh, of, of at the piece, mm -hmm. um, and it's also the sound can create different image. I don't know, I don't know how to say, but the music influence the audience. Uh, the the sound yeah. can 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 focus can yes can put a focus, focus on, on the emotions. Audience. Yeah. Yes. Uh, exactly. can change the meaning of the image because mm -hmm. we we listen uh, uh, I don't know we we are listening uh, a train and, and yeah we are, here well, and we are do this yeah and maybe the, the audience say oh okay they are looking yeah. the uh, yes <laughs> then the train so is passing yes yes exactly, exactly. exactly. Uh -huh. so it was also about that how to create to influence the the audience thanks to the sound mm -hmm. uh, and 
actually I have also to say that uh, the composition, the musical composition uh, was uh, was uh, created at the same time than the choreography. It was mm -hmm. alongside. So it was yeah. together. It was together, yeah. 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 Uh, it's so important to how to make a dialogue between picture and, and, mm -hmm. and the sound. Yes. Mm -hmm. It's the same. Uh, so Joanna Thomas, uh, who did the light system and the set up the set system, the sitting, the scenography. Yeah. Uh, it was also that uh, when we are in in performance, we are here all together, three uh, no four of us, but <laughs> light, music, and bodies. Yeah. Uh, and we are playing at the same time. Uh, each element influence the it's, other, and it's, yeah. it's always like that. We are. Uh, everything is live. Yes, it's a quatuor. Everything is live. Light, music, and yeah, live yeah. music. Yeah. So it's everything so is, yeah. yes, it's really important to have this connection, and, this dialogue between. Yeah, and elements. I think, yeah, I think that's also uh, why the, the, the show is really like having an impact on audiences. Because, yeah, yeah, the idea is great and also the execution of it, it's very, very, very specific and very original. So, and as you said, I didn't know that it, it's your first piece, but that's also the role of Aerowaves Network, which somehow mm -hmm. is helping to emerging choreographers to go to international scene. So my last question is like, um, how this fact that you were chosen among those uh, top 20 influence the, your chances for your international visibility is Bratislava the first one, or you are going? You you had the chance already to go somewhere. Uh, it was a big opportunity for us because it's our first piece, so we are truly grateful to be able to tour the piece in different countries. And we have been in Spain. We are going to ship in Italy, in Portugal. So it really helped us get more visibility yeah. internationally and allowed us to share a face with new audience and meet programmers we wouldn't have connected with otherwise. So yeah, it, it also have some exciting dates coming up and new residency for our next piece. So okay. it's it's it helped us a lot. And uh, yeah, I I wave was really in a great way for us to reach new audience and and expanding the work, our work, and yeah. discover other company. Yeah, it was super artists. super um, a great time. These three days was a super great time. Yeah, we have been really stressed. Super <laughs> <laughs> stressful, but very super well. stressful. <laughs> Lot of programmers, but. Yeah, yeah, but we are humans, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 It was super cool and it was really nice yeah. to be here, but yes, it was a bit like, wow. Oh my God. Yeah. 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 Or English and yeah. Great. Piece, so you don't know how to to speak with programmer is it's a new work. Like yeah. speak about your work, speak about uh, the company. Yeah, but <laughs> you learn. It's great <laughs> that you learn how to how to start with that. Okay, so we are li really looking forward to have you in Bratislava, and uh, yeah, I hope uh, that the audience will like the piece as I did. So uh, let's see wow. what happened. Thank you very much for this talk. Thank, Thank you. you very much.